Hello, and welcome to the Smiley Lab Introduction to Digital Preparation. My name is Anne Court, and I'm the graduate student who developed these tutorials for working with digital 3D data of fossils. Although many of the examples we will use are of fossils, these tutorials should apply to any 3D data of interest. This video series is designed so that you can skip to the topics you are interested in. However, if you are a beginner, I would recommend viewing the videos in order. First, I would like to thank many of the organizations and people who helped make these tutorials possible. Many of the specimens you will see examples of today are from either the John Day Fossil Beds National Monument, the Burke Museum, the Natural History Museum of Utah, and the Indiana University Zooarchaeology Lab. Scanning was performed at Friday Harbor Labs, and funding was provided by the NSF in a grant to Tara Smiley. Digital preparation is the process of taking scans of physical specimens and converting them into 3D digital models. There are many different uses for virtual fossils, such as taking complex measurements, 3D printing, fossil reconstruction, computer simulations, and sharing specimens digitally. In the Smiley Lab, our main goal for our fossil specimens are taking these complex measurements. By taking complex measurements such as OPC, which tells us uh, the different orientations of the surface of the tooth, or things like total tooth volume or tooth area across a tooth row, we can characterize the diet of these fossil rodents and understand how they evolved through time. Another great use of 3D digital models is creating 3D prints. These are generally cheap to make, and so they can be a useful way to reproduce rare specimens for education and outreach. The example you see here is a 3D print of a fossil beaver skull at two times size. Another use would be doing fossil reconstruction. So here on the left, you can see the original humerus that was found from a fossil mammal carnivore. And on the right, you can see a reconstructed version of the humerus based on related species. There are many different computer modeling techniques that can be done with uh, 3D digital fossils. This example you see is called finite element analysis, essentially measuring the stress um, when these two different skulls bite down comparing the thylacoleo, the marsupial lion, on the left, and a modern African lion on the right. Possibly the most important development um, and use for 3D data is these online 3D data repositories. This allows not only researchers who cannot otherwise access museum specimens to see more specimens than they ever could before, but it also allows us to share these valuable specimens with the public. The three examples I have shown here are some of these. Um, Morphosaurus is specific to biology and has fossils as well, um, so it's very much researcher facing. Where Sketchfab and Thingverse have a wide array of objects on them, definitely not just fossils or bones, um, and they face much more directly to the public. So an example you see on the right there is the Field Museum Sue the T-Rex on Sketchfab. The overall workflow for using 3D digital data is first to scan the data, next to process it, and finally to perform the analysis or do the use with it. Uh, and scanning and processing steps will basically depend on what your ultimate goal is with the 3D data. I will be walking through these in this video series.